That time is here again. The time where I answer the age old question, should I buy blank Pokemon? And today that Pokemon is Duraludon. Duraludon is the newest attacker released for Pokemon Unite. And boy, oh boy. You know, with Pokemon Unite, you get a wide variety of characters that are released. You have someone like Sylveon who comes out and just does insane damage, feels kind of crazy right away. And then you have other Pokemon like Trevenant who come out and are widely hated amongst the community. So I think Pokemon Unite strangely has done a good job of releasing a diverse group of Pokemon uh, in terms of viability. Duraludon is an attacker, and with an attacker, the big question is, where does this fit into the game? Does this do enough damage? Is this underwhelming? Is this overwhelming? And after playing this Pokemon for hours and hours, I think my big takeaway is that this Pokemon could have a nerf incoming very soon, kind of similar to Sylveon. Now, to be fair, I have no idea if something like this could happen. It's just when you are playing this Pokemon and you are first starting out with it, you can easily do 100,000 damage inside of a match. And then once you start to figure out the nuances of it, even a little bit, you start to push yourself towards the 120, 130, 150 range for damage, and that's similar to what we saw with Sylveon. So I guess what I'm starting this video with is, this Pokemon feels very, very powerful. And it feels so powerful in some ways that I am worried that you're going to see this Pokemon changed very quickly balance-wise. Now that doesn't mean it will be changed in a way where this Pokemon is not viable anymore, but if you remember what happened to Sylveon, if you were playing Pokemon Unite back then, Sylveon was released, it was doing crazy numbers, numbers that are very similar to Duraludon, and then it was nerfed in a couple days. And that same thing could happen to Duraludon. I actually don't think it, it does the same damage the same way as Sylveon, but it has this insane ability called Dragon Pulse. And Dragon Pulse is a massive area effect damage that can kind of snatch a KO that no other Pokemon would be able to snatch, save maybe Decidueye's Spirit Shackle fully charged with a perfect shot. This is like a Spirit Shackle that covers the entire area around you. As long as you've charged up the enemy Pokemon, with enough of these little orbs that follow them, these little charges. As long as they're charged up, you can get some insane KOs with this Pokemon. And because of that, you're able to output crazy amounts of damage. You level very quickly. I think this Pokemon is really great. I would say that this Pokemon is overpowered. I think it's very, very powerful. I don't know where you find a happy medium with a Pokemon like, uh, Pokemon, <laughs> with a Pokemon like this, but I do think that this Pokemon is sitting in the place of it being a little overpowered right now. Let me talk to you a little bit about what you might like if you are picking up Duraludon, or, or I guess a similar Pokemon. It has some similarities to Decidueye, to be fair. I just think it's kind of a better version of Decidueye in a lot of ways. It does a lot of damage, very similar to Decidueye. It has very limited mobility, kind of like Decidueye, although you get some of it with your Dragon uh, Tail ability. But it is still not very mobile. And like Decidueye, it feels like if you get dived upon, you're kind of in a lot of trouble. However, unlike Decidueye, again, it has this massive AoE damage. It feels like its basic attacks are a little more potent because they're big bursts of damage rather than kind of slow ticks of damage. And it also feels like its Unite move is way better. Duraludon's Unite move is really good. It creates this huge circle around you that if enemies leave, they get hurt and a laser beam spins around in a circle hitting everyone. You get powered up and you're crazy. It's a lot. Duraludon is a lot. I really like playing this Pokemon. And again, I would consider it similar to a Decidueye that is maybe a lot better. It actually has a few 
This is kind of close, but it kind of reminds me a little bit of Dive Cram sometimes. That's sort of far off, but I do feel like shades of Dive Cram inside this Pokemon. So if either of those sound good, like a really good Dive Cram or a really good Decidueye, then this Pokemon is for you. If you're looking for a Pokemon that you know is up close uh, against the enemy, I, I don't think this Pokemon is really for you. If you like playing you know, Pokemon that brawl more, while this can brawl a little bit, I really don't think that's the best way to play it. You're often at range with this Pokemon, and when you're going in, it's because you're using your Dragon Pulse to get a lot of KOs. It also has another moveset, Flash Cannon. I don't think Flash Cannon is as good, but it has crazy range. In general, I, I just think this Pokemon plays best at range. Both builds play best at range, and then again, its night move is, uh, is really incredible. So, yeah, my overall thought as to whether or not you should buy Duraludon is if any of that sounds good and you want to play a Pokemon that's pretty dang strong right now, really, really strong, I think you should pick Duraludon up. That being said, don't be surprised if this Pokemon gets a nerf, a quick nerf, because I think just like Sylveon, they're going to see the damage numbers and all of a sudden they're going to need to nerf this Pokemon. A couple things that are, I don't know, I guess pretty cool about this Pokemon is I feel like right now there are a couple movesets that I really like and both of them do some really fun things. So Dragon Pulse, I think, is the staple move for this character. It's too good. It's too good. You, you would put this on anyone. You'd be like, yes, use that move. It hits everyone around you. You get crazy KOs because of it. It's incredibly good. However, Stealth Rock and Dragon Tail, I think, are both reasonable options. And it's cool to have a couple different build paths for this character. The Flash Cannon build, I think, needs a lot of coordination to work. However, it's like a big siege cannon, so you could do some cool stuff with it. What I like about Stealth Rocks is, someone mentioned this in my chat earlier, you could actually lay these Stealth Rocks down on an area where something like Dreadnaw or Rodom is going to spawn. And then once it spawns, you kind of have this immediate burst of damage and all of your Dragon Pulse uh, orbs on this objective. You can burn objectives very fast. And that being said, the other thing that's crazy overpowered about this character is your ability to secure objectives is insane. You don't have to be anywhere near it. You just have to do enough damage to it and have enough orbs around it so by the time you charge your Dragon Pulse, you just let it go and take an objective. I think because of that, this Pokemon could be incredibly meta. Not only the damage. The damage is great, but the biggest thing is you can secure KOs and objectives that otherwise most characters could not. If any of that sounds good, pick up Duraludon while it's still not nerfed. <laughs> because it could very soon be getting a nerf. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for listening. I've got more Duraludon videos coming soon. I kind of am hovering around what I think the best build is. You heard me talk a little bit about it in this video. I love you all. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.